viewer discretion is advised. Nicole's legs are tired already, so. Not acceptable. <laughs> this place is pretty cool. Very beautiful. You like it? You want to move here? No. Okay. <laughs> so the question is, <laughs> what do you do? Our, we need to get to our rig, but there's elk right there. Oh good. He's so what happened is I ordered a new part. And what I've begun to realize is that this part is actually not broken. So if you want to get in close here, you can see that this has kind of broken off and sh I thought it sheared off that bolt. But what's really happened is if you look here, that piece is coming from, we won't show a close up of that because that's gross, but it's actually broken off from there inside that. So I can save this piece, which is great because it's all like kind of lubed up. Is that the right word? That's gross. Well, it, it is, and I didn't know what to put on there. So now all I have to do is remove this bolt. That comes off. Glad to have gloves too, by the way. <laughs> You're welcome. So now all I have to do is replace that piece. I guess it just takes a little bit more research to figure out what you're doing. But I'm pretty proud of myself. Well, let's wait and see if it works. And then this goes in the trash. This guy goes in here. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, so that takes care of that. So that piece is nice and tight. Now, if I do this, nice, woohoo! It's a little tricky because it's nice. I high five. High five. No. <laughs> <laughs> we saw elk on the side of the road, and I thought it was a statue, but Dad noticed it was real. Yeah. And um, we just um, we when we were done at the grocery store, we dropped all the way back and looked for that elk, but it was gone. Yeah. So there are elk here. Yep. Was it a big elk or a little elk? I think it was a baby elk. No, it was huge. <laughs> <laughs> and it had horns, no, antlers. Yeah, so it was a bull elk. And it was standing there like a statue. She thought, did you think it was a statue? Yep. But was it a statue? Nope. Nope. It was like in the perfect pose where it's like this. <laughs> it was standing so still and it was Staring at certain. It was like it was making its sound. We were driving by and everybody else was just driving right by like it was no big deal. I wanted to stop, but everybody's like, whatever, it's just another elk. <laughs> it's pretty funny. All right, we are going to Emerald Lake. Turn right onto Mary's Lake Road. We're turning right on Mary's Lake Road. <laughs> so we're gonna go to Rocky Mountain National Park and we're going to go to the Emerald Lake hike. It's supposed to be a moderate hike. It's three miles, only has 700 uh, miles, 700 feet of elevation gain. I'm excited. I love... Turn left onto US 36. <laughs> Are you done? Okay. I love Colorado. I love uh, the mountains, the trees, the fresh air. We're at 7,500 feet right now. This is the highest elevation national park we are about 50 feet into the park and there are elk right there 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 everywhere everywhere <laughs> can i see the id of the card holder thank you so much okay robert looks good can i get y'all a park map today yes please we saw elk right back there. That yeah, was amazing. Yeah, it should be right past uh, the 25 mile an hour sign. Yeah, yeah that awesome. was cool. You guys have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.
Well, we made it. They said there was no parking, but there we found a spot and Lisa expertly parked the truck. And look at that. Isn't that amazing? Hi there. Hi. Can I ask you a quick question? Sure. What's the coolest part about working at Rocky Mountain National Bottom. Park? Um, you guys. I'm I'll... talking to you guys. Nice, cool. Thank you. Yeah, Is it okay if I put you on my YouTube channel? I suppose if I can yes. be YouTube famous, sure. You will be, right? yes. <laughs> Starting our hike up em to Emerald Lake. It's a pretty well traveled path, it looks like. This first. <laughs> Nicole's, Nicole's legs are tired already. So. <laughs> so we're sitting down enjoying lunch pretty early we've only been about half a mile and there's a little chipmunk that's coming over and basically crawling up into our laps curling up and trying to it's a bug oh here comes another chipmunk this guy is right next to Ashley Hi. This place is pretty cool. Very beautiful. You like it? You want to move here? No. Okay. <laughs> Don't make me push you backwards into the lake. <laughs> Wasn't this cool? Yes. You like it? Yeah. Give me a thumbs up. Boom. You want to go out and fetch the snow? No. Why not? Let's do it. You and me. All right, we passed the first two lakes. Both of them were gorgeous. Now we're heading to the third one. And there's a beautiful stream and a little waterfall. A lot of people on this trail. And it's very well maintained. So we're just loving this hike. So much to see, so beautiful. Eight miles up. What'd you think? Scale of one to ten, ten being the most difficult thing we've ever done, one being walking from your bed to your bathroom. Um, seven. Seven? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because it was, it was a very steady climb. But it was always a climb. But they have like stairs. You're not like scrambling over boulders, so that's cool. Mm -hmm. The steps, there's a lot of steps. Should we count them? No. One. No. Two. <laughs> You'll get lost at about 500. So, but our four-year-old did this without any help. So if a four-year-old can do it, you can too. <laughs> Well, that was absolutely amazing. Uh, that was called Emerald Lake. There were actually three lakes. Nymph Lake, the other lake. Dream Lake. Dream Lake. <laughs> and No, Green Lake. No, Dream. Dream, dream. Oh. Lake. Nymph Lake, Dream Lake, and Emerald Lake. And if you're only gonna do one hike, if you only got one day, if you only can do one thing, that's the thing to do. The only downside is 
everybody else is doing it too. But that's okay. We got to meet some people and help people take yeah. pictures and it was kind of fun. So yeah. I had a great time. We just met a really neat couple. Um, they gave us their sticker. Yeah. They're called... The Outdoor Enthusiasts. The Outdoor... We're going to give them a little shout out. Outdoor yeah. Enthusiasts. Can I see the picture? Yeah, see? Yeah. Um, they, are, they had a B class, that a van that they were fixing up. And uh, I think that's awesome. I love to see like homemade... Yeah, they said you know, they bought it in May. And it had and like wood paneling. I kind of wanted a video inside, but I also didn't want to like invade their privacy. <laughs> Super nice couple. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is an awesome, awesome national park. Like top 10, top yeah. 10. The Aspen, the Aspen colors, uh, they've turned yellow. They're just amazing right now. Yeah, it's beautiful. And uh, love, 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 love Rocky Mountain National Park. Two thumbs way up. So how we find things is that you see people like taking pictures and you're like, <laughs> what like, is it? What are, what are they looking at? <laughs> it's an elk or a moose or a deer yeah. or something. Um, yeah, so the chipmunk from lunch had obviously been trained by others who uh, had fed it. I'm pretty sure that if we'd held out something, oh, it would have eaten, eaten right it out right out of our hands. Out of our hands. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, but don't do that. We're teaching the girls that that is not good. They are wildlife. We are people. We right. should be separate. I saw, I saw a couple uh, feeding a bird while it was in the air. I saw that. They were sitting down on the rock and they were holding up pieces of bread and it would come down and snatch it out of their hand. No way. Yeah. <laughs> There's an elk right over here and people are pulling over to be able to take a, a shot of it. Um, but it's absolutely huge. So we just got back to the RV park oh, good. You have that. and there are two oh, elk there. right a, in front of us. A baby. A and mom, a mom and a kid. And we need to drive right past it to get to our rig and we're trying to figure out what to do because I don't want to like spook them. They're right there. Those are elk. They're right there. We're in the RV park right now, and there's elk right outside our door. I was about to walk around the edge of a class and see um, them. So what do you do? So the question is, <laughs> what do you do? Our, we need to get to our rig, but there's elk right there. Oh good, he has a dog on a leash he's taking in. Look at the fawn. He's looking at us. Those things are beautiful. Should I make a noise? No, no, this guy just saw them and he wants to fix it too. Yes. Yes. Yeah. They're just, what are they doing? Well, they're kind of freaked out by us, I think. Should we just pull into our site? I mean, we, yeah. let's just pull into our site. All right, so after a hard, long day of hiking up to Emerald Lake, Lisa has made a fantastic dinner. Thank you, Aunt Jana, for the recipe. Lisa, great job. So what do, what do you call this? White wine and Parmesan pasta dish with chicken. Yeah? Wow, that looks so good. I will good. scoot you in after Daddy gets back in. Well, we really enjoyed this RV park uh, in Estes Park right outside of the Rocky Mountain National Park. Great spot, really neat people here. Um, you're literally right outside the gate. So on the other side of here is the National Park. So that's really cool. Got a little windy this morning, uh, a little chilly. And right over here is a nice little creek and a pond and oh i'm sorry there's a pond right over here so uh the pond was really cool 
apparently the elk would come and just kind of stand in the pond, uh, which is a little different. But um, yeah, great spot, highly recommend it. I'll put the links below, uh, you can check it out. And now today we're off, uh, we're gonna still be in Colorado, we're going to Buena Vista, Colorado. Pretty excited about that too.